really proud of, of a gutsy win. Um, this was a big win for us, being at home again. And I thought the girls really gutted, gutted it out. Um, they did a good job of trying to execute the game plan to a T. At times we weren't perfect, but they played through it um, and did a good job of really getting this win when it was tough. It was hard times for them at times, and they did a good job of focusing down the stretch to get the win. Coach, you had 21 assists tonight. About uh, time. Down. <laughs> right, two games in a row, we get 20 plus assists, I like it. Yeah, talk a little bit about your guard play. It's been really strong lately. Yeah, I, I think they're just figuring it out. They're just figuring it out. Um, we talked about the last game. Everybody can do something, especially with this offense. Everybody has a skill set that within this offense makes them good. And so Christy Wallace has to be on the attack. E, I thought, did a great job of managing the game, finding shots for herself, and finding finding the right place throughout the game. Um, Erie's been doing a great job for us. So I just think everybody trying to utilize their skill set um, to make themselves better as well as our team. And on the backside, you guys forced 24 turnovers. So um, what did you see defensively from your squad? Deflections. We talk a lot about deflections. One of our game plan was to pressure the ball. We had good pressure at times, especially on their bigs. Um, I thought we did a good job of that. I thought the guards got got deflections. I think Erie led us with, what, six? Six deflections. We talk about that a lot um, in our practices. We do a drill every single day that emphasizes deflections. So I thought they did a really good job of that today. Erie, what were you really seeing out there defensively tonight? I was just seeing at the ball, honestly, just making sure um, I stay with my person. I know the last couple games I wasn't, you know, perfecting my role, just being a pesky defender coming in. And so I really took pride in that tonight. And I try to pressure the ball and just get deflections. And on the offensive end, just in general this season, you just look much more comfortable, much more confident. Uh, how do you feel out there offensively this season compared to your rookie year? Uh, I feel like myself again. Um, I have teammates that are looking for me, and I'm also looking for my teammates. And so they do a great job of setting me up. And so um, I just feel more comfortable like myself. My coach said everyone is succeeding within this offense. Out there cooking. <laughs> coach, how does a matchup like this just affect the team confidence? Say that one more time. How does a matchup like this affect just the team confidence? Yeah, listen, Minnesota Minnesota is not what their record indicates. I mean, I know their, their record says 2-8, and eight, but they've been in every single game. Right, um, and when it clicks for them, teams are going to have a hard time against them. And tonight was no different. Tonight was no different. But we needed to come in and take care of us. We needed to build on the win that we got from Phoenix and the things that we did well against Phoenix. We needed to try to continue to do that again. Um, you know, I harped on them about their turnovers. They came out tonight with only 14 turnovers. That was big. That was big. Yeah, I should have shouted you guys out. Yeah. <laughs> my, bad. my bad. I should have shouted you guys out. Um, no. Nah, I should've, you should have. I should have shouted you out. Um, they they only ended up with the game with 14 turnovers at nine at the half, and I challenged them about their turnovers. And I think as a result, we got better shots. You know what I mean in the second half because of it. Monique, we always look at you as the heartbeat of this team. Tonight it was no different. Did you put the onus on yourself to come out and be that every night? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it's just all of us kind of do that for each other, not just me. You know, we all genuinely want each other to succeed and do well. So when we go through the storms, you know, we're going through it together. When we're on the up, we're going through that together as well. So it's just a good vibe all around. So I would say my teammates fuel me. So I try to give that fuel back to everyone else. Mo, you had nine rebounds, um, you know, going up against Sylvia. How, how was that matchup? <laughs> It's a challenge. Um, so much respect for Big Sill. Um, I love going against the best, so, you know, iron sharpens iron. If you can get in there and battle, it's just, just a great opportunity every single night. Coach, how proud of you, how proud are you of Ryan Howard, just to, for her to be rookie of the month and what she's accomplished so far? Yeah, I mean, I think it's great. I think Ryan is doing exactly what we expected her to do, to be able to come in and contribute in a positive way, and she's doing that. But you know she doesn't get she doesn't get those without without her teammates you know what i mean the one thing i will say about this team is they they all are really all in they're not really worried about their their selves they're a very selfless team so Ryan's able to do that those things because the girls around her are very selfless you know what i mean they're not um worried that she's getting all these shots and she's they understand that her role her number one role is to be a scorer and that's what she does well. Everybody has roles on every team, no matter where he goes, and that just happens to be her role. And so she's doing she's doing a good job of trying to execute execute her role. Coach, 
Coach, there were a couple times in the game where the Lynx, you know, they came back, uh, but yeah. you guys went on the run. Um, what does that show about the resiliency and the poise of this team? Yeah, to be quite honest, we got to do a better job. We got to do a better job of not allowing those things to happen. And, and when they do happen, to really buckle down and communicate with each other about what we need to do to stop that. Um, and at times, I don't think we do a great job of that. So that's on us to continue to work on that. But that's also on the players to continue to push themselves and hold themselves accountable. So we got to get better at that, um, just in general. Eric, you had six steals in the first half. Can you tell us, do you feel like you can be one of the best defenders in the league? I agree. I think so. Um, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I feel that that has always been my strong suit, even in college. And so just that translating in the league, I'm playing against some of the best women in the country. And so I just think that I can continue that every night and just make it hard for our opponents. We've got a question on Zoom. Spencer, well, he probably has a couple. Spencer, go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, this question is for Ari and Mo. Um, I think there was a time last year where you guys were 6-20. and 20. You guys are 6-3 mm -hmm. and three right now. Um, can you just kind of talk about, you know, at a macro level what the, the turnaround has been like, um, not just on the floor, but just, you know, how you guys approach each day and how that's changed from last year? I mean, like what T said, we buy in every single day. You know, we're not looking too far ahead. We got to take every game, every practice, just one day at a time and use every opportunity that we have to get better. And so that's our focus as a collective. You know me? Oh. Um, something that just stuck out with me since Coach T's been here, um, how you do anything is how you do everything. And I feel like that's how we attack every day. Like our approach, our mentality, every time you step on the floor is different. I mean, the vibe is different, the energy. So, I mean, I love it and it's more to build. <laughs> and then just to ask about the defense to wrap things up, um, I think you guys have statistically been the best defense in the league. Uh, but in what specific area do you guys think you still have uh, room to grow on that end of the floor? How do you get to, you know, becoming an even better? I would say rebounding. I think that's something we struggle with. And, I mean, that's just effort. Um, we have to want the ball. I would just say consistency. You know, we'll see glimpses of um, – we'll see glimpses of – great defense, but if we can just do that um, on a consistent basis and teams know what they're going against every single night and just kind of get, get away from the roller coaster, the highs, the lows, just be more consistent. All right, thank you. Good. Thank, thank you. you.